So, the BMW got new rims. <laughs> so, the BMW got brand new... <clears throat> hey, yo, everybody. Hey. So... <clears throat> Rolex. <laughs> Before I show you the rims, I'm going to show you how I got the rims, how I got the tires. It was an adventure. The car was full of oh, for fucking shit. On this nice overcast and rainy day, I'm going to show you the rims, the tires. But before I do that, I'm going to show you some footage of me getting the tires uh, and getting the rims and getting the rims mounted on the tires. Uh, yeah. I probably look dead, but I just got the bad boys. I can't fucking film them. I just got the new rims. Parked them in the back because the car is a bit too small to fit them anywhere. So uh, the leather is getting fucked, but hey, that it, what it, it is what it is. Just got them, ran home, got a shower, ran out again. I'm fucking sweating profusely because it's hot outside. How hot is it? It's 26. I guess it's not that hot, but yeah time to get these bad boys mounted now the reason why i'm rushing is because the tire shop place actually closes in 30 minutes so there might be some finagling to do uh which is not uh, not epic uh but i essentially decided to get all around brand new rubber on the car uh, I was going to get old tires on the back so it can slide easier, but I decided against it. Uh, I've decided to go like proper and get some good tires on every corner of the car. Look at this shit, man. Tire here. Two tires on top, rims, and one tire in the in the trunk. Man, it's a fucking woo. Oh, copyright, man. Trying to find a ATM right now, and uh, things are not looking too swell. Uh, those guys were closing, so I need to find a place that will mount my tires. I actually know a place, a very good place, so that's where I'm headed. Almost there, but. Um, Obviously, more traffic. Sofia, very nice. Uh, it's getting late, actually. It's currently... What time is it? It's uh, 6 p.m. already, so there's a chance they might not be working anymore. So, uh, I guess the car might be staying in this... Uh, filled to the brim with tires and rims for uh, another day, which is not cool. So, obviously, these are not new rims, these are new to me. Uh, me, being a BMW E46 driver, I bought second-hand rims. But, get this, because I'm an Eastern European BMW E46 driver, I bought reps. That's right, these are not OEM BMW rims, because I am, like I said, Eastern European. But in my defense, M539 Restorations has the absolute same set of reps, 18 inch CSL style reps on his E46, so at least there's that. So, let me talk a bit about the, the rims. These are uh, style 163 or CSL E46 style rims, reps obviously. Right, let me just stop myself right there. Uh, these are not E46 CSL style rims, these are not style 163. These are in fact style 359 E92 competition package or E90 series comp package. There is a difference in the style 163 and style 359 rims. Apparently I did not notice that difference. I recently found out about that difference and as you can see it is noticeable you would say. But the things I say about the rims in the rest of the video are uh, true. It's just that they are not style 163. They're just style 359. They are 18 inch. The originals OEM style 163s are all 19 inch. 
there are no 18 inch versions but since 19 inches would be a bit too much in my opinion for this for my e46 day driver i uh, chose these this set of reps so the front they are eight inches aj and the rears which are obviously much more deep dished they are nine j so nine inch rims it's pretty wide on the rear which i really like really love the dish really makes this car look fantastic in my opinion this set of rims so about the tires it is i don't know why i did this i actually i know why i did this because i'm an e46 driver and uh, i essentially got really nice front rims uh, front tires and um, not so nice rear tires uh, essentially so the car is more tail happy now on the front i've got Toyo proxies does it say proxy anywhere yeah Toyo proxies uh, TR. Toyo proxies TR1s uh, these are I guess in the price uh, for the price they are considered mid-range I would say but uh, this is a very nice sport orientated tire it really uh, grips like a motherfucker I have not had any issues no understeer no problem with the front end uh, they're great in the wet, great in the dry, uh, just very solid tire, just genuinely solid, ti solid tire, you know, I'm genuinely happy with this, and uh, now, for the rear end, <laughs> my knee. So, uh, <clears throat> so the rear tires are uh, very well known to everybody from Eastern Europe, oh, and I mean everybody, Audi, VW, Mercedes, BMW, Everybody puts on these tires. Um, well, not everybody, but it's it's a common sports, you know, performance tire. Cormoran UHP, so ultra high performance. Now, when a tire is called ultra high performance, you, I mean, it's in the name. It's probably not very ultra high performance. Um, so these also have a second name, Rikens, I think. So the fronts are 225 40s, which is the OEM BMW tires for 18 inch rims for the front end. So ZHPs, anything that came with a style 135 generally came with 225s on the front and 245s on the back, which is exactly what I've done. So 225 40 on the front and 245 35 on the back. Why did I choose 35? I don't know. So the reason why I say ultra high performance uh, in quotations is because they're not that ultra high performance, okay? So especially in the wet, they are not good until you get a sufficient heat in them. Then they actually grip up, you know, okay for what they are. Uh, in the dry, I personally have had no issues. They grip up a lot, which is exactly the opposite outcome of what I wanted. I wanted a slightly rear end, but in the dry, these things, brand new, uh, grip up a lot, especially when they've got heat in them. It is ridiculous, but when it's wet like this, they're not good. I mean, if you get like a good amount of heat in them, they do grip up, they do perform all right in the wet. I've got a POV coming up soon, with me driving with these tires, with this setup in the wet, and uh, it actually performs quite well. But yeah, so in the rear end, we've got 245 35s with a slight stretch. Uh, so in essence, in conclusion, what I wanted to say is, let me condense everything, what I said in this video, because it's very jumbled. The car looks magnificent right now. Reps, not the best thing in the world, but it is what it is. The front, Toyo Proxies, spectacular tire. Going around the back on the dry, I think they're absolutely solid i'm not gonna say fantastic because you know it, it, they're not fantastic but i think they're solid uh in the wet not the best thing but you know they do exactly what i want them to do in the wet and that is a slide motherfucker um god that was uh, cringe so essentially in the dry no drifting in the wet too much drifting there is no perfect balance so uh as you can see like this is my summer setup and it's quite obvious by uh, the weather and the way everything looks all dead that it's no longer summer it is fall now nearly winter um, the reason why i'm making a video right now is because i was lazy and things came up quite a lot before i could actually 
the film the tires now best part is come with me you know you've got the setup everything's looking nice and clean but your boy <laughs> your boy is running that drift spec on this side of the car the reason is is because i broke the rim the rim actually has a tiny crack on it uh and it's, it's not that tiny of a crack because air was leaking out of the crack so uh that rim is for in for repairs but that's going to happen there's no point in fixing rims right now because it's winter i'm actually going to be switching everything to the summer set uh the winter set <clears throat> all i want to say is greece the greek roads broke my rim i guess you know that's that's one one reason not to buy reps especially when you live in in the balkan area of, of europe if the Cormoran name or the Rican name don't uh, really ring any bells, the the tire the tire tread style the tire st I don't know if that's I don't know I don't know if tr uh, tread style is the correct term, but they have a very specific look. So you might have seen them around there. I think they're pretty European based tires. I mean, they say they're made in Serbia or some shit, but I don't know. But the stance of the car, in my opinion, is spectacular currently. Now, the rear end, I think, really fits nicely. Uh, the wide fenders, the, the, it's got rolled fenders. Uh, the car came with rolled fenders. So the tire really does snug in properly. Uh, on the front end, not so much. It's mainly because this is OEM M Sport suspension and it's really tall. Like, that's just how it is. This is genuine OEM BMW fitment on the front and look at the fitment on the back. I don't know what they were thinking, but it is what it is. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Before I talk about the rims, I'm gonna show you uh, the adventure uh, that it was that we 